Okay, so uh, as, as part of an exercise, just to help you kind of understand this so-called EDA process, I thought, I thought maybe you'd uh, play around with, um, with um, the assessment scores and the student demographics. So there's uh, two distinct types of data sets that are a part of this, right? Um, and they're accessible here. Right? So you just go here and you will download them. Um, right. So the, the tasks are simple, really. What you want to do is just see if you can pre-process the, the input data sets or the input data files. Uh, the format, the, the data set that you're going to download is, uh, is uh, if I can get to it, <coughs> is going to be represented as follows. Let me see if I can, 2019, if I can, oops, nope. Uh, I guess I need to reorganize this my Google Drive, right? Okay, so if we can get that, okay, great. Where are data sets? Okay, so the data that you're going to be working with is is has been shared. It's here. Um, what you will find in 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 this directory is um, uh, if I can just order this like so you'll find um, a number of CSV files uh, but there are three types of CSV files actually two types of CSV file the first one is uh, or it comprises of student demographic details right so that would be wow right so that would be this sort of format right so that CSV file here this CSV file has this information yeah um, and then maybe I should explain the okay and then I'll go through this one at a time anyway so there's a file with demographic details and then the other type of file has uh, student scores so for each assessment the final exam the class theory tests and the quizzes <clears throat> so for each instance of those different categories of assessments you have a separate CSV file that CSV file has a student ID and the score for that particular assessment. So observe, if I open this particular file for quiz one, it will have a student ID field. Of course, it's masked so that we don't know who they are. And then it will also have the, the mark or the score. And I, I can't view this because <clears throat> I need to open it using Google Sheets. But if I can get to, to the copy that I have on my local machine here, uh, there we go. So this is the sort of format you'd be working with, right? Each assessment, in this case, this is a quiz. This is quiz 14. It has a student ID. It has a mark, right? So as part of the preprocessing pre process, obviously, you would need to think about how to handle these things here. This is a null value, right? Um, uh, you would also have to think about how you're going to merge or combine these different data, data, data files, right? Like I said, if you want, you can use shell script, uh, shell commands from within pandas. If you want, at this stage, really, you can easily um, easily use a spreadsheet application, which should be fairly easy for most of us, I guess. Um, if you want, you can use pandas to merge the data, right? Which I highly encourage. Okay. So, but you notice that for each qui for the quizzes, you have twenty data files, which are in this format. So quiz one would be in this format, quiz two would be in this format, um, and then test scores would be in this format as well. Student ID and the total mark for the test. Now you notice that, same goes for the exam, right? But you notice that as part of the notebook, what I've done is I've provided some guidance or hints on <coughs> on uh, additional information associated with, the, with these data sets. Like for instance, all quizzes are graded out of 10. Right, so the max that you see here would be out of 10. If I can go to the quiz, right, so this is 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 3 out of 10. The tests are always graded out of 50, right? Um, the exam, though, is out of 100, right? So these are things to think about as you're processing these data files. Um, right, and then all the files are pipe separated, right? Um, 
All right. So, so that's, I mean, in case you're interested in finding out more about how this looks like, I mean, the last two cells have, um, have some, some show commands that you can do to explore the data a bit further. So I hope you have fun playing around with this data set. Um, I don't know if I'm reaching here. I was hoping, I don't know if people remember, but this, this, these particular data sets that we are, we've decided to adopt and use extensively are a part of the initial introduction to the course that I gave, right? I mentioned to you that there were a few projects that I, I have been working towards, things that I obsess about. It's not just square communication or bibliometrics, but also, um, and I hope I can get there, but I'd mentioned that, uh, that we were thinking of trying to see how best we can improve the course, right? If I can get to this slide where I was talking about this. It's actually here, right? And, and in the process, when I was mentioning this, I said that uh, one of the things we were planning to do is to try and see if we can use um, trails from, from these, uh, or I guess digital trails from students to try and see if if we can link them to learning outcomes or rather um, uh, if we can use them to identify at-risk students, right? So my thinking anyway was that maybe, I don't know if it's going to become too much, but maybe we can incorporate other data sets and build up on all of this so that eventually once we're done with this, it makes sense. It makes sense because we'd have gone through the entire end-to-end -end process, right? Where we're merging data and then hopefully we'll be able to deploy this. We will actually. We can deploy this as a very simple Flask API kind of um, application, right? That you can let on plug into some nice interface or something, right? All right, so hopefully this description of the data set is, is, uh, is useful and I hope you have fun playing around with this. Great, please send feedback on this. Uh, if you want us to change some aspects of how this is being done, um, although there's talk that very soon, apparently, the Minister is it, of Higher Education announced that uh, uh, is it beginning June, we might uh, get back to campus, but we still have a couple of weeks. So we're trying to make full use of these uh, weeks that are remaining, trying to see how, how we, can, we can actually make maximum use of, of the weeks before we get back to campus. So if you think that there are aspects of, uh, of this interaction that can be improved, uh, things that you think are unnecessary, just let me know and then maybe we can have a chat about this on Tuesday or something. All right, thanks and uh, happy Jupiter not booking, if there's such a phrase, uh, or happy Jup Jupiter-ing or something. All right, thanks, bye.